This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools. And this is an overview of how you can use the Google Classroom application or Google Drive application to upload photos of student work as a parent or student yourself. So let's take a look. First thing you want to do is make sure you have the Google Classroom app or the Google Drive app or both on your mobile device. And this can be on a phone or tablet. Once you have that, we'll take a look at what Google Classroom looks like. Notice when I open it, it says right away, sign in as Wes, and I can see the W up here. I can also click these three lines, and I have some options in that menu with classes. Right there. Once I click on the W for Wes, I can change accounts. And I can go between different accounts, or I can add an account. If your accounts aren't on the application yet, you will want to add the accounts. If you're a student, you want to add your student account. If you're a parent of a student, you will want to add your student's account. And you simply sign in with the full email for the school and password. And that will add the account to this application. Once all accounts are added, it's easy to switch between them by clicking the account you want to be inside of. Now to get inside Google Classroom, I'm going to make sure I'm in Wes's and I'm going to click where it says the first grade class. When I enter into this classroom, I see the stream, classwork, and people tab on the bottom. I want to go into the classwork tab. Once I click classwork, I will see the work for the week. I will click the assignment that I want to submit photos to of student work. In this case, week one. You will notice there is a description of week one and there is this up arrow, arrow right here that says your work. And it even says you can submit a photo of your work. I'm going to click that up arrow and it will open up the your work right here. Oops, I turned it down, I'm gonna turn it back up again. Now in here, I'm going to simply click add attachment. And if I'm on a mobile device, this will give me the option to choose a photo from my library or take a photo. I highly recommend the take a photo option or use camera. And the reason I recommend this is because then it will not store the photo on your mobile device. And it also makes sure it's in the correct format. You want your photos in the JPEG format and be wary if on you're on an iPhone to not have the live photo on if you're going to pick a photo. So you'll notice I'm going to actually choose pick photo because I have photos in my library already of my son's work. And you'll notice I'm going to take a picture from my existing library of my child's work. I choose that picture and you'll notice it's going to upload it. And that takes a little bit of time. Once this uploads, I do have the option to add another attachment. So I can add as many photos as I would like to this assignment for the week. I can even come back to it before I turn it in and continuously add photos. You will see it attach right here and I can add another attachment. Again, I highly recommend the use camera option rather than choosing the photo from the library. Now you'll notice although I added another photo, it didn't show up right away. So if I just um, move the work down and then add it again, it will come in. So here's my second picture I'm adding and it doesn't appear on the assignment right away. So I just close out of the assignment and open it back up and then it shows. So where did it go? I don't see it. So I close out of your work and I just open it back up and there it is. And that's how I can add attachments. And then I'm going to hit turn in and I can add these photos throughout the week. And once I'm ready for the teacher to see them, I hit that turn in button. And if I decide to change my mind, I can always unsubmit. Now, I can also add photos to my child's Google Drive folder. So notice, oh, first I'm going to go in and change some of my photos. So you will notice here, this is important before you add them to, to Google Drive. You want to make sure that your photos are not in live format. And again, this can be avoided if you use the um, use camera option instead of finding the photos already. So notice this is live. I'm going to turn off live. 
and then I know I'm going to use those photos. So if you have an iPhone, you want to make sure your photos are in the live format. And that's easy to edit in your photo editor. So now I'm going to go back to my Google Drive once my photos are not in that live format, and that's usually only for iPhones. And I'm going to hit the Google Drive application on my mobile device. Once I open that Google Drive, again, just like Google Classroom, I see myself up here. I'm going to change it to student account. And again, I can add a user if I so choose, or I can switch over to my son's account. Now you'll notice on the screen, he has priority. This is um, team drives, files that are shared with him by his teacher and his own drive. And this is where most of the work is done in that drive. And Google Drive is just a file collection system. So you will see that he goes in there. And I need to go find the file that his teacher has created. It is in the shared area. And I'm actually going to add that file right here to my own drive. I hit the three buttons on that file. Oh. Here we go. I hit the three buttons here on that file, and I'm going to go down and I'm going to hit Add Shortcut to Drive. So I'm going to add my shortcut to my drive, click My Drive, and then you'll notice it goes into his, I'm going to hit Add, it goes into his files now over here. So now it's easy to find. Wesley Fisher's work, it's in his files, easy to find. So I'm going to open that up. And from there, you'll notice I have a plus sign. I'm going to click this plus sign to add photos of my students' work to the folder. I click this plus sign, and again, the use camera option is the better option. However, if you have photos already on your phone, you can click upload. Just be sure they are not live photos, that they are JPEG photos. And again, I will hit that upload button. What's nice here is I can upload a few at a time. I'm going to go into my recent photos. I'm going to choose the photos I would like to upload. And I'm going to click Upload, and you'll notice it's going. And this is a live photo, I can tell, because it's HEIC. So I'm going to go back and need to change those to this format, JPEG. And that is an overview of how you can add photos of student work to both Google Classroom and Google Drive. Thank you.